is a trial which tries to meet one of the unmet needs in Hebrisilla carcinoma, and it shows prolonged overall survival, high objective response rates, and relatively good tolerability, and a long duration of response. So having that said that, let's um, have a quick look at the background. We started with tyrosine kinase inhibitors that was very modest with respect to efficacy and tolerability was also not as good as hoped. And then with the advent of immunotherapy, in particular after implementing combinations, we really saw some uh, dramatic improvement and much better results, up to 30% of objective response. However, 30% objective response if you convert it into non-responders, 70% don't respond. So that is clearly still an unmet medical need. And in that setting, we were looking for available combinations. The IPNIVU combination, ipilimumab, CTLA4 inhibitor, and nivolumab, a PD-1 inhibitor, has been tested before in a second line setting in the Checkmate O. 40 trial in one of the particular cohort and showed promising efficacy and safety. And therefore, this combination was chosen as a first line intervention in patients with unresectable hepatocellular carcinoma and was tested at what used to be the standard of care in a couple of years ago, either serafinib or lenvatinib. And now we um, reached the primary endpoint, overall survival, 23.7 months. This is one of the longest um, median overall survivals we have ever encountered. An objective response rate of 36%, and the duration is extremely long, more than 30 months of duration of response. So this is very promising. The, um, there is some toxicity to this combination, hepatitis, skin reaction, and um, the treatment had to be discontinued in up to 18 or so percent. Nevertheless, there were no unexpected safety issues. And in particular, those patients in um, suffering from these immune mediated adverse events, they were recovering. The events occur relatively early in the treatment protocol. And that supports also the observation that quality of life and symptom deterioration are in favor of this combination compared to tyrosine kinase inhibitors. So on a level of um, more than 600 patients, we are now offering a new standard of care as we believe. And this is certainly adding to the armamentarium we have to treat patients with hepatocellular carcinoma. And the combination has one particular particular benefit, if we look at the end of the Kaplan Meier curves, I would like to highlight that after 36 months, we do see 38% of patients in this combination um, alive compared to 24 in the TKI arms. That is significant and it shows to a maintained effect over time. Good for our patients. We are not treating tumors, we are treating patients. And um, I'm looking forward to presenting this data at ASCO.